Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 45 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm just chilling on Forgecraft. Um, so, I'm here with Soren. What's up, Soren? Hello. Have you seen the upgrades I made to the wither spawning area, by the way? Not yet. You should come, uh, you should come visit. I made it, uh, pretty awesome, I think. But I'm chilling at Roraxes. Roraxes? Roraxes on? Oh. Hey. What's up, Rorax? How are you? I am. Hooray! Haven't seen you in a while. I am good. Yeah, oh. I've been in my... Yeah. So, do you have a book in the in the nether? Yes. I do. You'll find, like, two books on top of each other on lecterns, and the top okay. one is my base. Cool. Oh man, that base is cool looking. Dragon. Oh, that'd be awesome. And this is why I asked if you want to play checkers or chess. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Are you building a checkers board? Plug it. I did that last I'm season. Actually, not. It's just in the process <laughs> of being built. <laughs> I feel like you need to play chess now. Let me just tell you, like, when I built the checkers board, I chose. I originally started it off like, I'm going to make a chess game with computer hurdles and all that <laughs> stuff. And I was like, oh, right. Chess has a lot of complicated rules. Checkers yeah, is does. hard enough. I'll just go with checkers. So, Rorax, that's your job challenge. Yeah. About that. <laughs> cool. So, show us around, Rorax. You're going into my power Woo. thing. It's not as complicated nice. as some. I'm standing in something. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Ash I blocks. like it. Yes, and I can't climb out because it's one block space low. You have a block low. You're out of steam. Because I've been MIA, yeah, because I've been MIA, everything burned out, so I'm in the process of refilling my fuel tanks. Oh, okay. Your uh, oil is wrenched strong up here. It's not pumping in. Do you want that to be the case? Yeah, no, they got to be off until um, ah. I'm happy with the quantity of fuel so that it doesn't oh, okay. eat it all up all at once. Gotcha. So you're just processing right now? Yep. Looks good. So everything's kind of out of power at the moment. I can't access my stuff. <laughs> I like it. I'm seeing See, this is the kind of I mean, awesome can, building that I'm really not the good at. Right. Nice. There's a point though that fancy becomes hard against practicality. So I like this build so far. <laughs> I tried to balance this a little bit. With the speed. Like, the item frames here, you've got a cog for right. workshop. A nice. chest to mean storage and A and stuff, and then you've got a book with a quill to mean magic and stuff. Why am I walking fast? I don't understand. I didn't know you could store steam. Oh, in the tank. it's this floor. Yeah, you can store steam. Or... Yeah. <laughs> Did he recently add that, or has that been that way for no. a while? It's a fluid, so you can do or liquid in this case. It's always been that case. You just can't store it in buckets and things like that. He doesn't like it. Exactly. Which is oh, yeah. Um, I, did you end up figuring this out, Daya, that you can direct which way yeah. interfaces interact? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people and commented on uh, the video for that one. Bro, I actually changed something. <laughs> no, Sorry don't change something. things. <laughs> besides? This floor is uh, besides a cool slippery. Bit. Yeah, what is that the floor? Yeah. It's brownstone, it's um... Brown. Is that the like tinker stuff? Answer to yeah. traveling stone. Yep. Made of gravel and I can't remember, tin, I think. Oh cool, you've got a little map on the wall here, that's nice. Odd with acceleration. This is my, like, alien junk. Oh, Daya, Soren said you would really, really like something, and I'm going to prepare oh, yes. it for you, so just a moment. Oh my. Oh, you have armors. I want this on. Just. <laughs> yes. 
That reminds me, I should put like an armor stand down in the weather spawning area so that if people want to go down and fight the weather, they have like armor sitting there waiting for them. That might be really cool. I look intimidating. What you doing, Warax? This is special. for you. Hooray, Miscraft pages. Ooh, desert mm -hmm. oil field biome. Nice. I definitely yep. want one of them. Do you have like an age set up with that yet? I don't, and that's why I gave it to you, because I'll expect you'll probably do a better job setting up the age than I will. <laughs> we were talking about <laughs> well, that a few minutes ago. I've now got one page. <laughs> we have several, remember? <laughs> yeah, that's true. We do have a couple. I think Marathi dropped us off some. Ooh, I like your I like <laughs> I like your library, Rorax. This is cool looking. Where does this go? Yeah. There we go. The brown stuff makes it hard to like navigate small spots. Keep micro. Man, this base is yeah, awesome. I'm not sure why I don't slip around as much as you two. Do you have the run assist walker system? Yes, I do. Uh, no, actually not on this armor. Okay, that might be why. Or actually base is awesome. Put that out there. Thank you. Oh, no. oh you've got one of those uh, Twilight Forest trees up here. That's cool. Yes. What do these I trees do exactly? Like, um, Besides look awesome. Oh, I'm clicking so, on something. You see how the area around them, um, if you fly out from the base, you could probably see it better. But that you'll see that the area around them is green. It actually, block by block, changes the biome type around them into, um, what is it? The enchanted forest biome. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, and for the purpose of bees and whatnot, that actually counts as a normal, normal biome. So I kind of generated my own patch of normal, normal within this, what would be considered a swampy biome, nice. which is the, um, what is it called? Ominous woods. Right. Now let me explain the derpiness of the grass. Oh, didn't you say you had a hot yes. springs nearby? Yeah, it's like right. Oh, not other, nearby. Other book. Definitely not nearby, but <laughs> accessible. How do you get out of here? Where? If you. So you got to come to my little AE room. Um, okay. Oh boy. Now I'm lost because I'm outside. Go. Yep, yeah, right there. <laughs> okay. The brown book on these leg turns. Right. Bottom Here's a fancy base over here. Oh, we're well, really far away. Look at us. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Oh, hot springs. Not too far away on one of the axes. And you can see yeah. uh, a little bug I was talking about earlier with Jorox. The fluids that? over here. Uh, if you swim up and down in a fluid, after you break the block under, oh, thank you. Right. Like jump that hole and swim up and down, you'll see that you won't drown. Swim up. Is that because there's like a boundary there? Soren, you were blown up by a creeper. Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what do you do? Have no health? I still have eight levels. How do I have levels? Oh. I think MDIO keeps level persistence. He yeah. does a bit, yeah. So you don't lose. You have a lot of creepers nearby, things. just to let you know. I got your little. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why hat. that is. I have a bunch of junk in my inventory that I need to organize so that I can actually get the hot springs that I want. I'm just throwing stuff on the ground at Soren. So the neatest thing about these biomes that you'll be able to find uh, very useful is that the hot pools aren't just on the surface. Oh, really? Yep. They are all throughout the layers of rock all the way down. Yeah, nice. so that got dirty in the biome we were in. Yeah, there are a lot of creepers out here. Holy cow. <laughs> lapis, too. No, that's not lapis. That's... Uh... Oh, and we're right on the edge of the ominous woods. Nice. Mm -hmm. I jumped into poison not too long ago. I was just like, da, 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 da. poison. Jump. Not bad. 
So I can uh, come here to get all the poison and hot springs I want. Yep. Uh, okay. So is this and the second base you're building, Warwax, or is this somebody else's house? No, this is my second base. Cool. Yeah, in one six. I decided please. the 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 gloomy castle was a bit too gloomy, and I wanted to go somewhere a bit more uh, vacation like to get nice. away from it all. Nice. Hot springs right next to a beach. Not bad. Next to lava. Right. Let's Sign me up. Creepers. Creeper Lodge. Yeah, lots creeper of creepers, lodge. apparently. <laughs> I understand. Like, we couldn't that get didn't any used mobs. to be the case. And you yeah. have all of them. <laughs> so I'm going to bring my hot springs back to my main base. So here's what I want to do, guys. I want to head down to my wither spawner thingy. Um, I should put the hot springs. I was thinking, like, right here-ish. So, like, probably going to want to move this orange portal gun for now. Like, eventually I'm just going to make people, you know, make their way down. But, uh, hmm. I do know in 1.6, hot springs are going to be a little bit hard to get. You're going to need an amethyst bucket. You're going to need what now? Who? Amethyst bucket. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Use normal bucket. Oh, is that what they're doing? Mm-hmm. It's already changed in 1.6. I was testing that earlier. Right. Cool. Not so excited for different bucket types. Yeah, mm -hmm. that sounds neat. Forge buckets, amethyst buckets. Granted, quartz buckets holding any fluid that's not on a blacklist is epic. Thing with oil, aluminum cans, basically. So, uh, just in case anybody didn't know this, uh, watching this on YouTube, the uh, hot springs do not form in infinite source blocks. So, if you want like um, a nice, smooth, non-flowing hot spring here, you're gonna want um, all four buckets worth in there. Nice. And I get nourishment and regeneration. So, let's assume we're fighting some bad guys like Withers. Countdown. Are you fighting one? I'm gonna fight one, yeah, come on down. Rox, you wanna come too? I don't know where you went. Go back up the ladder. We're in the in the portal. Just go through the portal yep. in my base. Okay. Oh yeah, the yellow one. Oh okay. Oh. Yep. I had a few buttons. Emergency kill dire wolf. Okay, let's press that button. Oh, they mess. hurt, they hurt. Emergency kill all the things. Exactly. So I can jump in here, get regeneration, mm. heal up real quick. Excellent. Take a nice relaxing spa after killing with the skeletons. Yeah, the um the big swords here that um M Dio adds, they uh actually <laughs> Oh, had unlocked Direwolf twenty character. The, the big um, swords he adds have a dismemberment ability, which make mobs drop their skulls, and it works on wither skeletons. Yep, that's yeah. how that comes. Soren, it's wearing your items. armor now. Soren. <laughs> it doesn't have yeah, anything on it, but it was wearing I managed to drop bag. items over here. Everything that was in my knapsack. Where'd it drop? On this side where I died. Or like the respawn. Oh your your backpack items dropped at Sorry, respawn. Sorry, I hope you know you're walking around with twenty six sticky pistons. Yes. Soren walks around with a lot of funny things. Very go up the strange stairs. thing. You should go up the stairs, you'll see why. Well this building things with sticky pistons. But wasn't that built ages ago? Oh. Why is it still in your inventory? Because if I get in trouble if I place down Soren just so <laughs> Emergency kill all. <laughs> Soren, you have to use the emergency kill all button or jump in the hot spring. That's what you do if you're gonna die. When I had a portable hole in a hand, I didn't feel that was a good idea. So Soren, Warax, come push the red button. I'm very proud of the red button. 
Me. Me. Rorax wants to push it. Red button. Good. Yum. Red button. <laughs> Now that's it. <laughs> I got the, like, two, uh... Okay. Set. I would back up, bro, actually. What do you think? Pretty cool? Oh, no, I can take it on. You can get on. It is pretty dang cool. I have a, a field teleporter if you want it to get in there. Do you want to fight it? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me find yeah, my field teleporter. There you go. I, I can probably make a couple enough. extra of these and... He's ready for you. Just a moment. <laughs> There's a chest here to store your items in case you're afraid of losing anything. I just realized I'm wearing the wrong armor. <laughs> ah, fair enough. <laughs> so she's just gonna switch it out with the one. I should really set yeah, up like a uh, some stuff down here. Also, guys, you can see I have a bunch of junk in my inventory. I actually have something I want to work on, but we're having too much fun right now. Oh. Oh, looking sharp, Rorax. Your your battle helmet. I like that all dark black armor stuff. It's a purple. You need a health bar over rocks. Yeah, I know. In this corner, we have a three headed wither. In this corner, we have a Rorax. In the other corner, we have a torch. Oh boy, Rorax wins! They should Rorax count as a mob. And then you press the green button when you're done fighting to turn off the force field. I have now completed how you do this. That's awesome. A proper demonstration. <laughs> nice battle. All right, guys, we'll be back in a few minutes here. Now I'm going to gonna slowly die to withering. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Hopefully that'll... Oh, oh. withered away. <laughs> Poor Rorax. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kill guys, we'll be back. Grave. All right, guys, we're back. Um, there's a couple things I want to tweak. So my slime area. Uh, one problem that I'm having is every now and then, if the slimes are just positioned correctly, like especially if we get two or three large slimes all kind of stuck in position here, and then the grinder kills them, like say a slime's right here up against the wall, when they split, some of the um, some of the you know smaller slimes, not like the smallest, but like the second largest pop outside over here and they're really annoying to kill <laughs> even with a, a nice sword and all kinds of good armor and stuff they're still frustrating so that's why i have all this mffs stuff on me i'm making um an auto kill switch for uh the bad guys here so that's the basic plan um let's see where could i set this guy up i could probably just hook him up wherever it doesn't really matter too much hey there's a perfect spot so i want the um extractor to go here and we'll put this stuff in and we'll lever him. Nah, actually, I don't want to have a lever there. Put the lever here. Cool. All right, you start doing stuff. All right, good. Power generation. Uh, capacitor can go here. And we'll want the defense station and security station set up. So I'm thinking... You know, security state defense station can go here. Security station can go here. Um, I should get my multi-tool ID writer created. An I on this block. Sorry. I feel like these, this TNT block on top of the veterinary station is probably not real. It is. It's a facade, I think, isn't it? I don't know. A lever next to it. Pass. <laughs> Which one where? Oh, that one? It, it one. seems yeah, to be one. having a wire running into it. <laughs> So obviously it's wire. That's that's the wire that yeah. wires things. Mm -hmm. So I can just flip the lever and bam, and it just explodes. Right, where is this? Oh, there we go. I saw it. NPC kill in a square area. Um, 
Now I just need some range upgrades. Do I not have any range upgrades? Ah, field distance. I've got field strength. All right, let's get some field distance going. Okay, and then we definitely need some of these. That'll do. Field distance. I think 18 should be good. I'm randomly choosing 18 to be the field distance of uh, range to kill things. Because if I'm like right in the middle-ish here, right, like what's the range on this? If this, Let's say this is where the thing is. It's about here, probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's usually on the sides that we have to worry about. I saw that, Zorn. I heard it, actually. I didn't see it. <laughs> All right, so th so 18 should be more than enough to cover this issue, right? So we put the field distance upgrade here. And we're good with that. NPC kill. Kill any NPC friendly or hostile in a square radius. And all I really need then is some redneck cabling. And decide on a color for this guy. So what colors have I used so far? I've used orange. Um, I've used light blue, I think. And what Ray. else did I use? I used color that I can't see, so I can't remember. Magenta. Okay. So let's see. So I've got Why light blue, fire? orange, and magenta. I'm pretty Cause sure. Because I'm overheating. Just have to find where the magenta one is. There it is, magenta. My so. suit doesn't have a, a very good cooling system. Who oh, knows? What happened? What'd you do? Nothing. Soren, did you break Warwax? No, <laughs> not yet. Sorry, I have a shiny plasma orb. Come here and receive oh, your shiny plasma shiny. orb. Shiny! Bye bye. We'll go oh. with yellow. <laughs> yellow sounds like a good thing to go with. <laughs> Alright, All right, guys, give me one minute. I need to edit some code here, and then we'll have an auto kill button on the screen. I would. And we're back. Look, I have a new button. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, turn on the spawner, turn on the beginner, and we're going to um, let this thing spawn. Now, of course, we've got a 10-second delay or so while it's uh, waiting to spawn things. But I added a button that basically activates for two seconds and turns on the yellow. Are you breaking things, Soren? No, that's where Rax's little gun power Yeah, Yeah, Soren's breaking things. It's totally Soren. It's all Soren. I blame Soren, typically. All right, so I'm going to try this. Yeah. It's... Hello, kill all. That, that didn't seem to work, did it? It didn't kill. Nor all. Kill all. Killed some. There we go. <laughs> that did it. Pretty sure that did it. Let's watch that little Slimer dude. I want him to get embiggened here and then I'll kill them. He neither got embiggened nor dead. Well, they don't always get embiggened, because if they happen to walk by as the thing's on cooldown, they don't get embiggened. Kill all. That wiped him out. Kill all's working, I think. I might need to extend the uh, delay from two to three seconds or something like that. Maybe I'll bump that up real quick. You got an extremely rare drop from one of those. Yay, yeah, I got a... I got a big slap, big slap! <laughs> Okay. Mint your red heart. Crafting item. Heart of little, little. What? 
Hmm. You use it to make m miniature hat containers. Oh. Yeah, we've gotten a few of them. I'm Maybe the delay needs to be a little bit longer. I still have my 26 sticky pistons. Yay! Or maybe I'm out of energy. That could also be the problem. <laughs> I think, Are we? Yeah. Uh, I think we're just low on energy. I think that's the main issue right here. You know I what? Know. I've got a solution to that. I think that's why it's... I think turning it on actually drains quite a lot of power because I have such a long range and we're doing the instant kill. So let me um, charge it up real quick. Need some kind of energy buffer. Well, I've got a capacitor down there. It just hasn't charged up yet. I feel like this should rotate players. That'd be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Alright, YouTube. We'll be back in a minute once I've got some force energy stored up. Hey, Soren, do me a favor. I'm recording again. Um, hit the kill all button on the monitor for me. I want to see how much energy it drains out of the capacitor when this hits. Right, that's not too bad. Drains like 5% of the capacitor, I'm going to say. Alright, so let's see if this will work now. Spawner. And beginner. Cross your fingers. You won't notice if I don't. Oh, I'll know. Because it won't work. Oh. I don't blame you. Oh. Well, what would be different if it didn't work and I did? If you, if you cross your fingers, it'll work. Get with the program. All right, I think I see what happens. The kill all button is triggering the splitting of the slimes. So if it's a totally large slime and we want the kill all to work, we need to leave it on for a few more seconds. Yes. Oh, that was like, it did. Come out here, it spawned out here. <laughs> okay, the problem you've been having isn't because you're walking through the vines. <laughs> Well, the vines thing is actually also happening too. Yes. Yeah, that's Just working. Just on the stairs here. <laughs> Five second kill all should be fine. I feel like Perfect. power crystals need to check where they can spawn. Maybe. Well, they're not spawning on the conveyor belts. I've noticed that. Definitely <laughs> noticed that. All right, guys. We'll be back in a few seconds. All right, guys, we're back. One more little thing I want to add here is the following. Um, I want to get my ender tank and my golden waterproof pipe of mob essence. And I've been carrying these around all episode because I've been intending to get these set up here. Now I have to figure out which side of the ender tank the thingy's on. Not that side. Oh, yeah. That side. There we go. Excellent. Cool. So now I've got um, a nice way to deal with this bit. Um, might even add some levers or something here. And I've got stone bricks. And a facade. There we go. And let's make this thing look nice. Why is there a chest in here? Soren, is this a Soren chest? You've got to be more specific with where. Over by the villager spawner. I'm going to say it is. I have a place to chest in here. All right, I should have some kind of control mechanism that's outside of the room, but for now it works. So let's see. Flip the lever on. We should start getting... Uh, so we've got mob essence supply down here. Just something I never got around to doing. And since we're about to wrap up the episode, I figured I'd film myself doing that, just so you guys could see uh, the official build being finalized. Oh, good. Wait. More villagers. Hello, it's villagers. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this could easily oh, cause a problem. <laughs> How quickly? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go ahead, Borax, flip the lever. Let's sort them. Boneyard biome. Sort. Nice. It works oh, a wait, lot better yeah, when, um... Oh, he got pushed through again. I think it catches him, though, and, and fixes it if he gets, uh, you know, stuck the wrong way. Every now and then, things just don't want to behave. Oh, 
Why are there multiple carts all of a sudden? Did you do that, Soren? No. Nope. <laughs> Not nothing. I get stuck. I'm oh, not well. sure Soren is telling the truth. I, I'm, I'm pretty is sure he he's not. No, he's never. Oh. Never. Hey, Manelian. We're just hey. wrapping up episode 45, guys. So um, I'm going to let these guys sort, do their thing, <laughs> maybe start working on yeah. the uh, Mistcraft Age stuff going on that we wanted to do. You know what? I think, I think I know part of what the problem is. I think it's tick rate related. If we have like a low tick rate on the server, this build works perfectly. But um, if we don't, it's really not yeah, we probably need to delay the um, cables, and that's easy to do. Yeah. I'll do that now. I mean, it's kind of working, but we built this for when the tick rate was a little bit low on the server, and we've since fixed it, so... Oh, well, no big deal. All right, guys, this is Direwolf20 signing off. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode, and uh, we'll see you next time. We've got, uh, like I said, might want to work on Miscraft Ages. Rorax wanted me to build a nice desert oil field Miscraft Age, so I think I'll start working on that. All right, guys. Take it easy.